Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a 10 sales in 10 minutes video. So I've just pulled out a random load of sales, some decent ones, some sort of standard ones. And uh, yeah, we will get straight on with this. So here you can see first off, we've got this uh, World Ultima Snowman, Dance of the Snowman uh, plate. Some of these are pretty good actually, especially now we're slowly starting to get to nearer to Christmas. Um, I think these will go up in value as well. I don't know, I'm just guessing, but I imagine you can probably pull a little bit more money for them at Christmas. Uh, since they are obviously Christmas themed. So yeah, essentially I got $14.99 plus postage for this one. I had quite a few of these, well I had about four, I think about had about four of them, three or four of them, um, and they've all gone now. I got them at the £10 plus commission job lot of collector's plates at the auction. I always talk about collector's plates because generally, like, no, hardly anyone picks them up. I think there are quite a few people who know they're worth money or some of them are worth money, but people just kind of tend to avoid them at the auction. I don't know what it is. I mean, there are, like, really high-value collector's plates, like um, some of the, what is it, Bram Bramble Hedge or Brambly Hedge ones or something, um, and generally people do catch on at those ones. But when there's just, like, a job lot of, like, kind of standard collector's plates or just World Alton ones, they kind of just pass up, up on them, but to be honest, I paid like £10 plus commission for the job lot, and I've got probably 50, 60, 70 quid out of them, maybe even more. Um, as I say, I've probably got about 50 quid just out of the World Alton ones, so, you know, the Snowmen ones, so yeah, definitely keep an eye out for collector's plates, but obviously a lot of them are like sub a tenner as well, so you have got to kind of know the ones to look out for, but yeah, that's quite a nice little sale there. Um, this is an antique Atkin Brothers uh, silver plate sort of fish cutlery set. Quite a nice one, this one, um, in this wooden case here. Um, and yeah, I think I paid about £20 plus commission for three or four uh, sets of cutlery like this one, um, and I think I've got them all listed for about 30 or 40 quid. I think I think one of them, might, another one might have sold as well. But yeah, I got 29.39 plus postage for this. I'm just thinking whether I accepted an offer, but I don't think I did. I think I got the full asking price for this. So yeah, quite happy with that one. Nice little sale there. So obviously works out in the job lot, maybe seven quid, something like that, cost to me. So that's I'm quite happy with that considering I got 30 quid plus post. Now comes something I haven't a clue where I got this from. I think I must have got it out of an auction job lot, but I can't remember what I paid for it. I can't remember what job lot it came in. It must have been quite a while ago. Um, you can see that I'm in the photo there. It's kind of impossible with these when you're photographing a mirror to not get yourself in the photograph. I suppose there's maybe a, a certain angle you could do it where you're not in the photograph, but it's, it does annoy me. It doesn't look very professional, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so, yeah, I got 28.49 plus postage for this. Generally, that's like a standard price for these sort of bevel-edged mirrors in about 30 quid, something like that. And generally, we do go for quite cheap at the auction. They sometimes they may be in like a, a wider job lot of stuff, or sometimes they might be in you know a job lot on their own. But generally, if we're in a job lot of wider stuff, you know, a bigger job lot, then obviously you might only be paying a fiver for one of these, you know, working it out as an individual cost. So yeah, quite happy with that nice little sale there. And I'm guessing I paid around the same price, around about a fiver for this. So yeah, quite happy with that nice little sale. But it did take a while to go. I don't know whether it was my keywords. Maybe I needed to um, add a little bit more in the title or something. But yeah, it did take a little bit longer than I thought to go. Next was something that I had in my cabinet for ages for the exact same price I put it on eBay at. And um, literally, I had it in my cabinet for 25, 25 quid for about three, four months. And then I put it on eBay. I just thought, right, let's get it gone at 25 quid plus postage. And oh, no, actually, I think I might have screwed up on the postage. It might have cost me 6.49. I'm not sure. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it cost me 3.49. Maybe I got it in under two kilos. I'm not sure, actually, but I might have screwed up on the postage there. But anyway, I'm not sure. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. But um, yeah, so essentially... It went really, really quickly at twenty four ninety nine. So, yeah, it's weird. You know, you put something on eBay and it goes really quickly for the same price. But I suppose it's just the whole thing of, you know, there's only so many people walking around an antique centre compared to how many people are browsing eBay. So, yeah, it just shows, you know, it might just be better to sack the whole antique booth or antique cabinet idea and just stick with eBay because that seems to get the results a lot more. So yeah, that's 24 99 plus postage there. It was quite a nice one, quite an early uh, kettle. I think it was probably 
it's got like the dovetail seams in there so it's probably like you know late 19th century um, but yeah quite a nice little kettle there in really really good condition I didn't polish this up I didn't do anything to it I don't touch my metalware um, but this just came in in the condition you see it at, as now and yeah really really nice I think that's like a swan neck candle as well there. did I put swan neck candle I don't know um, but yeah it's got like a acorn finial on there on top there which is pretty cool but yeah quite a nice one that one next was this vintage royal delfs uh blue sort of just a floral design plate just one of these like kind of studio pottery type thing well maybe not studio pottery but um royal delfs blue hand hand work hand work um but yeah quite nice that one uh 9.95 plus postage so pretty standard nothing really really special there it took maybe, I think it maybe about a month to go, three weeks, something like that. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, next was something that took a little bit longer to go. Um, the what did I? I don't think there was any branding on this. I don't think there was any. You know, there wasn't on this one. There wasn't any maker's mark or anything on this one. So I didn't have a lot to go off. But um, I just put vintage antique, large ceramic blue and white water jug pot ewer. Just kind of stuffed a load of keywords in there, and it went for 99 plus postage. Now. Essentially, with this one, um, I think it was quite old. That's why I put vintage slash antique. Because I do think this may have been like early uh, 20th century. You know, maybe like 1910, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but it did look like that. When I was looking it over, it seemed like it had a bit of age to it. So, yeah, that's why I put vintage slash antique. Uh, next, Viners of Sheffield Vintage Silver Plate Gravy Boat. Um, these do okay. However... This one took quite a while to sell. Uh, 15 quid plus postage again. I got this in a job lot. I don't know whether I said I was going through these quite quickly. That would have cost me a few quid in an auction job lot. Maybe a fiver at most. Uh, this one here, again, one or two quid in an auction job lot. Not a lot at all. Uh, next one, again, this one two three quid something like that in an auction job lot again when i'm getting these auction job lots i'm not paying a lot on a per item basis so yeah pretty happy with the sales so far um so yeah next as i say is this uh viner's gravy boat as i was saying it took a while to sell um but it did sell for 14 quid 14 pound 84 there plus postage in the end so i was quite happy with that you can see it did take quite a while to sell because it's my old postage of 2 99 instead of my 3 49 for Royal Mail postage. So, yeah, um, it did take a while to sell. Maybe it was my keywords. I don't know. Um, but they see, it seems like a pretty packed title there. So, it's maybe not that. But maybe it's just, you know, the, the search volume on that, on that sort of item isn't very high. But, yeah, so that was that one. Again, just in an auction job lot. Again, a couple of quid, two or three quid, something like that. Nothing major. Next was something I was a bit lazy with the... Um, photography on i didn't actually take this out of the box i just like photographed it in the box probably would have sold a lot quicker if i had the patience just to take it out of the box and just do a quick photo out of the box but on that particular day i remember it i just couldn't be bothered i actually really remember that day i was i just couldn't be bothered taking things out of boxes and stuff to photograph them um but yeah 14.69 plus postage again it took a while to sell 2.99 my old form of postage um and i paid two pound in a charity shop for this one i actually remember this one because i was um quite happy to pay two quid for this i quite liked it i knew it wasn't going to be a an amazing value item i just thought it was quite cool um so yeah nice little sale there two pound into pretty much 15 quid there um next were these uh pair of vintage brass frogs i was gonna do these on the end of my photo area so they're like sitting you know they're like perched on the end of my photo photo area and then do a little photo but i realized when i was actually setting them up to do that that you could actually see underneath my processing table and there was a load of stuff there so i thought i better not do that so i'll just photograph them sort of laying flat from a bird's eye view but i think they would have looked a lot better if they were actually sat down on the end of a, a a sort of table or something like that um but yeah again just got these in an auction job lot one of the brass job lots probably didn't cost me a lot again um 10 pound 15 there but i did put free postage on them but yeah nice little item there pretty cool pretty quirky i've never seen these brass frogs before um so yeah quite quite a cool little item and then finally we've got these vintage guild publishing uh books i claudius brave new world etc i think brave new world and then it says sherry is that right sherry Oh yeah, Sherry there. Um, so yeah, essentially I have sh I've showed these on a uh, sales update, on the sales update, because um, the job lot that these came out of, 
I've actually got back about 150 to 200 pound and it was a 10 pound plus commission job lot of four boxes of books, vintage books, and nobody wanted them at the auction. Not one person was bidding, and I thought, right, I'll put the minimum bid in of a tenner. It's four boxes of books. I can't really go wrong. And yeah, there was some good books in there. There was like two or three. I think I showed them on a sales update, actually. But it was two or three very, very early versions of A.A. A. Milne books. Um, and I think there was a early version or somewhat of an early version of um alice in wonderland and they got me like i, put, I just whacked them on auction and they got me i think one book uh, one book got me about 50 quid another book got me about 20 odd quid another book got me about 16 quid then i did job lots of the bigger books i had a a big set of like um french um I think it was like French history books or something, a massive set of them, and I got about 40 quid for them, and I, I've done other little bundles, and then these were in it as well, so these have just sold, so crazy amount of profit on that, really, really happy, don't pass over vintage books, vintage books sell, they're not actually as slow as you think, like, if you get the right books, they can go really, really quickly, and there's a lot of demand for them. Now, you know, these things aren't, like, really in demand, these these specific books, but, you know, they still went, you know, they still sold after a few months, so I can't complain. 10 quid plus postage, yeah, 9.75 plus post. So, yeah, quite happy with that. Nice little selection of sales today, nice and varied as usual. So if you did, did like the video, then please do like it down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. So see you very soon, guys.